Bonjour à tous. Hello everybody. So today I got to do something that I love to do and that is bake. Today I got to make these giant lemon meringue pies. We doubled the recipe and then added a half recipe so that we could make two big lemon meringue pies and then four little mini ones and that makes me very very happy because even though I decided a bit ago that I wasn't going to be a pastry chef anymore and I will get to that later I still love being in the kitchen I still love making food that people love and I got to help out and my hands smell like lemons it's the best feeling ever the best part about making something lemon flavored is the smell afterwards it is heaven it is heaven and we made the pastry from scratch lemon filling from scratch we're making meringue from scratch tomorrow to finish them off so that the meringue doesn't bleed or weep and it's it just made me so happy to take the day and bake i love it and i love being the person that knows what to do when you're baking you know you know you have that one thing that everybody looks to you to do and for me that's either languages or baking and actually i bought recently the first cookbook that i bought here <laughs> this they serve de nos régions and that basically translates to desserts of our regions and I love this because it breaks down French desserts by where they're from. And this makes me so happy because this way, number one, I know what to order in pastry shops because it's their specialty. Number two, it gives me a look at how these regions are what they look like what they love to eat because food is a window to a person or a culture and i very firmly believe that the french food in general you think of butter you think of cream you think of bread and that is a lot more indicative of how they behave than you would think. They love rich food. They love fancy, beautiful looking food. And they love fancy, good looking people too. French fashion, French food. It's almost the same. It's always inventive, it's always gorgeous, and it blows the rest of the world away. The French language is even like this. The sounds are rich and deliberate and it always sounds a lot fancier to everybody else. It's exactly the same. And then there's the simple French home cooking and that's where you really see the kind of undertones of the French culture. The French aren't as a matter of fact, as snobbish as people think they are. They love beautiful things because they love beauty. But more, I think, they love showing people that they care. Food is not just something you shove down your throat to give yourself some fuel for the day. Food is a time to share with other people. You eat with your friends. You eat with your family and you talk. That's why French meals, like the big Sunday family meal, takes three hours. And they're eating through the whole thing. 
it's that kind of culture that you see. You see the food that is simple, but when you do it right, oh, is it good. Ratatouille. It's a peasant dish. Can it look fancy? Oh, yes. Watch Ratatouille if you don't believe me, because yes, it can look fancy. But what it is, is a vegetable stew. That's it. And that is what I love about French food. There are so many layers to it. And when I was in high school, I had kind of this existential crisis my junior year about what I was going to do. And I decided I was going to be a pastry chef. My senior year, I took three cooking classes at school. I was declared the pastry chef for our final grade, for our final restaurant that we put on. I spent the entire day, that day when we put on our restaurant, making dessert and plating the desserts. That is what I did. It was stressful, but I loved it because everyone said it was amazing and they wanted it. And I got to my university and because dad had said you're going to get a business degree first because you're going to want to open up your own pastry shop. You're not going to want to work for somebody else and you're not going to want to work in a restaurant that has people yelling at you. And I said, fair point. <laughs> I will go ahead and do a four year business degree. And then I took economics. <laughs> <laughs> and said no thank you. My French minor then turned into a French major and here I am. <laughs> but I'm not going to be a pastry chef. No, I could still go to culinary school. I could still be a pastry chef. If I really wanted to, I could probably still open up my own pastry shop. But that's the thing. I don't want to. And it's not because my love of cooking clearly has gone down any less. It's no. It, something I realized was cooking every day would take away my love for it. I love to bake because I get to make it special. And if I'm doing it every day, it won't be special anymore. So instead, I'll be baking on the side and making friends through food because I'm far too awkward to make small talk. <laughs> That's all I've got for you today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, and let me know what you thought. And tomorrow will be Saturday. I may do something, I may not. Who knows? We're finishing off the tarts tomorrow. But yeah, until then, au revoir, bye everybody.